Golf. Life personified through a game. Some days good, some days bad. But the way you deal with the bad days means all the difference. If you know even the slightest thing about golf, you probably know what the fairway is and that it's where you want to be. Nicely shortcut grass that gives you good lies and good contact. Well, fairways aren't all they're cracked up to be. We aren't professional golfers after all. We're lucky if we hit half the fairways in a round. Instead of getting discouraged, I've learned to embrace missing the fairways. Getting lots of practice out of the trees and thick rough, I've hit more miraculous shots from off of the fairway than I have from on it. The rough, the trees, the bunkers, the water hazards. They're just as much as part of this golf course as the fairways and the greens are. They were all chosen and placed specifically to make a course play a certain way. If you're always in the fairway or always on the green, you never get to truly experience the entirety of the golf course. Something that I believe is way more important than hitting a good shot every time. At least that's what I tell myself when I'm playing bad. Golf has many themes and facets to it. Not only is it a physical game, it's a mental game. A game of time, a game of friendship and camaraderie, and a game of competition. I play golf just because I love being competitive and when I play golf it's not so much like I'm competing against my friends, um, it's a lot more so like me competing against myself. That's why I like playing, just for that feeling of improvement. The best story I have for golf uh, would be back in September. I was playing really bad, like really, really bad. and. I wasn't too happy, didn't have a good round, I said whatever, I'm just gonna like keep practicing for the rest of the round. And I ended up stepping up to a par three and I had a hole in one right then. And ever since then I've been after my second one because that feeling of having the first was just great. It's a nice way to go somewhere and just feel 
like at peace for a little bit. The golf course means to me, uh, pretty much I look at it as like a challenge, like a puzzle. Um, it's something that no matter what day it is, no matter what weather conditions, no matter mood feelings, it will always be a challenge and it will always be difficult. And it's something that I look forward to. It's pretty crazy how, how these courses are made and how they're just, you know, carved out of nature. Um, but yeah, it's, there's no other game quite like it. Um, you can't really experience anything else like this game. Um, and I'm very grateful for it. In my life, the thing that golf has probably changed is my appreciation for the things around me and the smaller things. Golf is a game that teaches you patience and it has definitely taught me to day in and day out just to be patient, keep working, keep like growing steadily because it's something that I'm never going to perfect but I have to be patient and put in the effort to see the results. So golf has taught me basically to be patient while working towards the end goal knowing that the goal is so far from where I am today but I have to put in the efforts today to reach that goal. Patience. If you don't know what this word means, Try playing golf. You'll quickly know the definition. Whether it's waiting on the group in front of you to move on so you can hit your next shot, or it's being patient enough to see all your practice finally pay off, golf requires you to be patient in every way. There's something special about the way golf courses are designed. Each architect has a different style, a different spin that they put on the courses they design. One of my personal favorite golf architects is the late Pete Dye. Dye is considered by many to be one of the best architects to ever grace the game of golf. He's best known for some of his most famous courses, such as TPC Sawgrass in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, Whistling Straits in Kohler, Wisconsin, and Ocean Course in Kauai Island, South Carolina, just to name a few. I've been lucky enough to play some Pete Dye courses myself here in Florida. Black Bear Golf Club in Eustis. In Southern Hills Plantation in Brooksville. The way golf architects take a piece of land and turn it into a living, growing piece of art is something that makes golf so special in my eyes. I don't think there's another sport, or game, or even activity in the world that can say the same. The feeling you get when you're out on a golf course and seeing it wind through the landscape is absolutely breathtaking. You feel as though you're in a painting. This is golf.